ओके हाय फ्रेंड्स और बत्रस ग्रुप ऑल्सो स्नेहा इज देयर फ्रॉम कैनेडा टुडे आई वुड लाइक टू शेयर विथ यू वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट दैट इज अबाउट अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ पीरियोडिक टेबल इट इज वेरी वेरी हेल्पफुल इन प्रैक्टिस अबाउट हाउ वी अंडरस्टैंड पीरियोडिक टेबल हाउ टू डिफरेंशिएट वन रेमिडी फ्रॉम द एनदर विथ सेम सिम्टम इन ए केस ऑफ लव अफेयर फेल्योर पर्सन इज वीपिंग अलोन वेन टू गिव नेट्रम मूव एंड वेन टू गिव इग्नेशिया वेन टू गिव मैग्नेशिया हाउ डू वी डिफरेंशिएट and if this clarity comes in practice it is very very helpful so in one and half hour time i will do my best to explain you this periodic table this is the periodic table we follow if you can see the powerpoint i have taken it from vital quest only you have to check it this carbon silicon is in column 10 this is the right periodic table which we normally follow even shelton has given his understanding of periodic table in book elements and elements of homeopathy specially and we have developed a lot from our clinical practice but initial idea was from ian shelton and the book available was elements and minerals written by ian shelton of holland i would like to confirm with batras group you are okay you, you can follow what i am trying to say say someone if you want to say that periodic table is seen in front of you i want to connect with you you are okay can we hear him yes sir okay good now the first row the horizontal row we call it rows and vertical rows we call it columns this is fixed in our group dr shankaran's understanding whenever i say row 1 it is understood it is horizontal row hydrogen and helium are the two elements in row 1 and the main feeling of row 1 is from energy male gamete and female gamete unites and form a zygote so first structure where energy is converted into matter in the mother's womb and the main feeling in clinical practice we see i am being noticed i am existing my colleague dr jayesh shah had an excellent case where a foreigner abandoned by the family totally feeling of unloved in a very cold days in germany he was thrown out of the house by his parents and he just enjoys staying with the horses in a horses cabal or shelter and he just found a tire a someone abandoned tire and that is his property and he is very very happy to have that tire at least i have this no gift on my birthday no present nothing but at least i have this tire and he is just hugging that tire and after detailed case taking the main feeling of the case is just notice me i am existing i am living i am surviving and very strong feeling of abandoned strong feeling of unnoticed strong feeling of you are not even there atomic number of this is very low so no ego very naive very simple and the main feature of being noticed and unnoticed existing and not existing these are the main features of hydrogen and helium this is row 1 row 2 very very important row so many difficult cases we have cured with row 2 and very less information 
<clears throat> but in practice, superb result. From lithium to neon, the main feature of road 2 is like a um, um, the fetus is in the already it is zygote is formed, fetus is already in the mother's womb. Slowly and steadily, how the fetus is getting separated from the mother and at which level it is stuck. If we remember that concept, very similar experience happens in the periodic table as we go from left to right and so many fantastic results we are having with this concept. Very, very helpful. My colleague Dr. Mahesh Gandhi has cured so many psychological cases with road 2 only. And for your information, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, all are in road 2. Beautiful understanding is there about this road 2. When we say lithium, this is column 1. The structure is totally dependent on mother. Totally, the word totally is very important. You cannot separate it. And when I say side by side, if I say column, the first column also, the structure is totally dependent on something, incapable. When it is a case of a mineral, we will get the main feeling. Without someone, structure is incomplete. I am totally dependent on someone. I have money for security. I don't have house. Robbers will take away my money and patient will speak lot about ability, how much he is having in terms of ability. In plant, it is in terms of sensitivity and reactivity. In animal, it is victim aggressor. So when we are talking about the, maybe I will talk about the rows first and column little later on, that will be better. So when I'm talking, when there is a structure problem, without someone you cannot exist or you have to take care of someone, lot to do with ability, capacity, capability, performance, etc., etc. I know it is a mineral kingdom. In mineral kingdom, if patient is talking about existence and notice, it is first row. If patient is talking about separation, how patient will say, for example, a case of lithium, you cannot separate the structure from the mother, totally, totally dependent on mother. Everything is done by the mother. Sometimes we get psychological case where patient's feeling is totally dependent. You cannot separate the mother-like structure even in the dream, even by theory, as I said last time, maybe it is a little repetition. A high blood pressure patient said, my subordinate, he is like a son to me, always he is with me. I said, suppose he gets transferred. She said, no, I will not allow, I am the boss. I said, if you get transferred, no, that will not happen. I said, by chance, you are away from your son. By anyhow, I couldn't separate and she was totally dependent on him. She did beautifully well with lithium. Next element is beryllium. Here it is 75% you are attached, 25% you are separate. Your structure is coming down, placenta is becoming little descending. Still structure is in the womb, but slightly separating from the mother. This is the feeling of beryllium. With someone, I can do something, but on my own, I cannot. This is the feeling of beryllium. In column 2, main feeling is, with somebody's help, I can do something, like a temporary tent. Lot of fear child is having in darkness. Child wants to stay separately. But moment there is an unfavorable condition, little lightning, child comes to mother. So like a tent, temporary structure is outside, but you need to have a secure, secure structure always. This is the feeling of column 2. In short, I am a homeopath. I can practice homeopathy with someone's guide. This is the feeling of column 2. 
with someone i can do it i cannot do it totally independently whereas in the first column lithium it is totally dependent so i had a beautiful case of a depression young boy all the time having hallucination big big eyes some voice is talking to him and everything started when his girlfriend was forced to marry someone else her father didn't agree and moment my patient heard about her he just started weeping weeping very high blood pressure eyes are becoming prominent and he is hearing voices he was weeping hardly talking i just said what voices you are hearing he said i am together i remember the golden days where i used to pick her we used to go to coaching class we used to go to restaurant and now she is getting suddenly married this is wrong and then again she starts weeping at one point i asked what dreams you are getting we are getting married again and what is the worst feeling for you i am alone so everywhere there was together and opposite was separation separation from a structure which is like a mother for example patient said i could do my business with her she was everything for me i used to get confidence with her she could guide me in my business she could help me in my studies she was everything for me very low molecular weight and when i asked what is everything he said without her i was nothing and i was capable of doing something with the help of her so very strong feeling of separation but still in mind 75% attached with her i gave a remedy a beryllium salt beryllium moor i will speak about the moor little later on moor is in the third row chlorine chlorine has to do with disappointment care love failure in the love affair failure in the disappointment failure in the care so this patient did fantastically well with beryllium moor very difficult to pinpoint any rubric <clears throat> but based on this concept without any allopathic medicine within a very very short time he just improved this was my first case of beryllium maybe 25 years ago but i learnt a lot from this mostly patient will say this particular structure was everything for me and without that structure i am nothing next comes boron in the row 2 next element is boron so remember in the column 3 there is a lot of confusion about identity alumina is also column 3 which is row 3 so boron alumina scandium yttrium lanthanum all has lot of ambiguity lot of confusion about many many structure so in boron the main confusion is am i totally dependent on a mother like structure say parents or do i need to do on my own and moment boron thinks i need to do something on my own tremendous fear fear of alone fear of falling boron has tremendous fear from the mother's secured structure i am just falling down if i fall down it is too much it is something like early descending so boron has very strong rubric of fear of height fear of bridge fear of falling from high places fear of descending these are all strong rubrics of boron fear crossing the bridge and energy of the boron is clinging if you see the rubric clinging children in or clinging you will see boron so boron main feeling is can i be on my own i need to be separate from the mother and moment the idea of separation very very strong fear do i need parents or do i be independent this is the dubida but the whole world is shaken up moment you think you have to descend down this is the main feeling of boron any question at this point up to this you have followed
Yes, anyone has any question up to this? Yes. Followed, sir. Good. So, boron, as I said, strong characteristic rubric we can remember clinging, fear of crossing the bridge, fear of high places, vertigo looking down from high places, strong dream of falling. These are the characteristic rubric on which concept is best and the very, very strong energy is clinging to the mother-like structure and very, very afraid of separation. Next is carbon. In boron, it is not yet separated. Separation is very, very troublesome in the imagination of the patient, whereas carbon is the fast independent breath. But still, it is a concept where fetus or the child is getting separated from the mother but it has not yet come out. It is just above pelvis, but placenta is getting separated. So the carbon, the main fear of carbon is, will I be able to manage? It is not about the fear that I'm getting separated from the mother. Can I be separated? No. Can I manage? Strong rubric, if you see fear in a strange place, and you will see the medicine carbo wedge. Fear in strange place. So, main focus will be in a difficult situation. So far, my parents were caring for me. It was a womb-like structure for me. This is the usual gesture. From every injury, every danger, every wrong things, my parents were protecting. I was protected from the harm by my parents. But now, my parents have expired or I have got married, shifted to somewhere or because of the job, I have shifted to some other state. How will I manage myself? It is too difficult for me to manage. This is the main feeling of carbon. All the carbons, carbophage, carboanimalis, carbolic acid, petroleum, graphitis, diamond, all sorts of carbon, the main feeling is, how will I manage? How will I do it on my own? That is the main focus. If you have got two, three remedies, in one carbon is coming, another silica is coming. In silica, main feeling is, I am concerned about my image, what other people are thinking about me. Whereas in carbon, the main feeling is, how will I handle the situation? How will I tackle? And lot of alternative state between happiness, sadness, weakness, energetic, can I do it on my own or do I need to depend? But the main language has to, how will I manage it myself? How will I do it myself? This is carbon. Next element in the row two is nitrogen. In nitrogen, the main feeling is the structure is descending further and the fetus or the baby is stuck into the pelvis. The very important word of nitrogen is bound. Claustrophobia. Structure is facing lot of difficulty because passage is narrow. Very, very strong feeling of narrow place and bound. Bound word is very, very common in nitrogen. How patient will say, my parents are too dominating. I can't do anything on my own doctor. I have no freedom. I feel as if they are attacking me from sides and I feel as if I am in a very narrow, closed place. I get suffocation. I feel bound. I get breathing difficulty. I feel whole world is coming closer to me. It is very, very narrow. If you see fear of narrow places, you will get nitrate. Fear of danger, that is the main feeling of nitrate and claustrophobia. And the main feeling is bound. The pelvis cavity structure is descending down. Sometimes caesarean operation is needed. Sometimes umbilical cord is around the neck with asphyxia symptom, with suffocation symptom, lot of emergency. And the main feeling of all nitrogen and nitrates are trapped. You are trapped in a closed place. This is the story of the nitrogen gas. It is a free gas, wants to liberate in the air. 
but liquid nitrogen is stored in the particular vessels and there is a very strong trapped filling of nitrogen. The difference between carbon and nitrogen, carbon has to do on its own, nitrogen has to do with the trapped, claustrophobia, narrow place, etc. Very next element is oxygen. And last time maybe I said just a quick repetition, I had a beautiful case of sleep apnea where patient has an experience, someone is sitting on my chest, putting lot of pressure, I want to breathe, I want to come out, I want to have my first independent breathe, I want to breathe and I want to come out, this is the energy of the oxygen, first independent breath and lot of energy is about I want to breathe. I want air, I want oxygen, I want to come out. It is a desperate situation. If I am in for more time, I will die. So best is, I want to come out. It is a very, very desperate situation. This is oxygen. So sleep apnea, he gave a beautiful image. He said, I get choked up in the nose. I feel cold and I feel as if asleep, as if during the sleep, I have an experience, fish out of water, and this was the gesture. And when I inquired about that, the whole case opened. Main experience of the patient was fish in water is a comfort zone. That is something very similar to mother um. And you are coming out of water into the air. It is an uncomfortable situation where you are grasping for breath. You want air, you want oxygen, then only you can survive. So this is oxygen. Then comes very, very oxygen. There are ozone proving by Anesh Sharde and there are certain very interesting rubric if you want to verify from where this concept have come. In Anesh Sharde's ozone proving, you will get the rubric dreams of childbirth, dreams of breathing under the water, dreams of suffocation. This you will get all under ozone. Ozone is O3 more violent, more heavier, something like a layer is outside is the ozone filling and oxygen is less lighter, very, very important constituent of the air and that is the main difference between ozone and oxygen. Next important element is fluorine, which is a halogen. At this moment, I would like to touch the column 12 is known as all the halogens including, sorry, I'm very sorry, it is column 17, from here I saw it. Column 17 is halogen. It is just before column 18, which is a rare gas. It is towards the right side. And the main filling of all the halogens, that is fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, astatine, let down. I want to break free. For example, in row 2, the main filling of fluorine is I want to go for the disco party, I want to have wine, I want to come late at night and my parents are overprotecting. It is something like child or the fetus is in the mother's home and delivery date has crossed, date of ex expected date of delivery is already crossed and you are in the mother's home and you desperately feeling suffocation because of the mother and you want to come out. I want to break free is the language of the fluorine. The same mother who was taking care for me, same father who was taking extra care, extra protection, now they feel it is suffocating. I am 18 years now, I am young, I want to enjoy drink, I want to enjoy parties, I want to go out with friends, I want to drive, I am independent, I am free. So the main language of the fluorine is, I am independent. The main language of calcarea floor is, Calcarea has to do with money, floor has to do with independent. If I have money, security, I am independent. So floor part has to do a lot with independent and I want to break free. I want whatever normal norms of society, I want to break free. This is fluorine with lot of disappointment, lot of buoyant relation. Fluorine doesn't have a stable relation with a one partner. Many, many buoyant relationship and lot of things which normally parents will not allow to the teenager, everything you will see in fluorine. With very hot sensation, as if hot vapors are passing through each pore. 
this is the language of the fluorine with nails defective with caries of the teeth and groundless fear of poverty is one of the main rubric of fluorine next is neon that is a rare gas in neon outermost octet if you see the electronic structure in first orbit there are two electrons second eight third is 18 2 n square is the formula n represents number of orbit so in neon the structure is 2 8 whatever is the atomic number if we check it so either there are 2 or 8 or 18 electrons so neon neither require any proton or electron nor it donates structure is complete so they are very satisfied in their structure they are very content in their structure they are feeling is separation is no more issue i can be separated and certain features of the next row which is identity choice i will come to that so patient feels separation is neither a issue nor the identity wherever i am i am very much content with the separation and you will get many add children that is attention deficit children or autistic children they are absolutely in their own world and nothing bothers if that is the issue separation is no more issue they are in their own happy world from their point of view many autistic children require this remedy neon it can be argon also depending upon which row it is so this is about neon so in short lithium to neon structure is getting more and more developed lithium is totally dependent on mother like structure neon is very content and as you go from left to right structure is getting more and more developed with this understanding we come to row 3 another very very important row in practice so many cases we get of row 2 3 4 usually common man's problem now child gets the first name giving ceremony child gets the name identity it is the line of identity natrum magnesia alumina silica phosphorus sulfur chlorine argon first issue is identity confusion of identity alumina choices developed first time child feels i want to wear my dresses according to my own choice this is phosphorus i want to wear match dresses she is hardly seven or eight years maybe younger she develops which dress to wear she has her own independent view so choices identity love care affection nutrition other constellation of the word also you have to see only identity will not do along with choices you will get nutrition love care lot of nurturing other issues or other constellation of the words also you have to see in the same column or not if only one is matched others also will match in the same row so when i say natrum again this is a column one totally dependent on mother like structure but in the areas of taking decisions choices which one to purchase which one to wear which food to have i will always depends on my all will always depend on my mother which food to eat which dress to wear i don't have my own choice sometimes i depend totally on my partner my choices becomes totally partners natrum move even someone can fall into love with a wrong man a married man or a senior man because that person takes charge of me and he or she guides me tells me what to do what not to do takes all my choices this can be natrum mood the main feature of natrum mood is emotionally totally dependent on some structure for example natrum mood let down disappointed by a structure on which you are totally dependent failure in love affair may be and the main feeling is without that person i cannot exist weeps alone very very introverted but if you see that particular structure from whom you are separated you are totally dependent maybe in the relationship this problem comes this is natrum now to break the monotony magnesia i will request sneha to narrate a case 
and then I will speak about magnesia. Can we go to Sneha? Unable to hear Sneha. Hello. Hello. Yeah, we can hear. Yeah. Uh, so we had this patient which whom we had seen around a year ago at the other song. She was 14 year old and she had come to us with a main complaint of vitiligo. So she had this complaint since almost four years and it had started first on her abdomen, then in her legs, then on the eyes and she had it even on her hands and her back. And it was mainly prominent also on the knees and elbows. You know, a lot of part of the body was affected. So the main thing that she had is she had occasional itching. But the main, main, main complaint about, I mean, the main fear was that this is being exposed everywhere. So she is very fond of wearing good dresses, looking very good, appearing popular with her friends. So this vitiligo prevents her and restricts her from doing all the things that she likes. So that is why she is not able to wear dresses and that is why she really regrets having this complaint. So the main thing that other, the other thing that came up during her case was she has a lot of desire to be with her friends. This is a very constant thing with her as also reported by her sister. She said she feels all alone if she is without friends even for a day. She gets very bored. And she says that I do not feel good at all. Besides this, she had one important situation was that around three years ago, that is in 2011, her mother had passed away. So when she was asked about the feeling, she said, yeah, I did feel bad, but then it was nothing beyond that. So it was very strange for us because a 14 year old girl not having much emotions, even her sister who was accompanying her said that, you know, she doesn't really express anything about the loss of mother, which is strange for us. We, we had encouraged her to express, but she's okay with it. So she feels, I feel sad, but she never speaks out anytime. Besides this, she has a lot of fear of ghosts. She feels that when she is traveling, she also gets the dream that she was traveling in a train and that the ghost had come in front of her. She was running away, but he strangled her that time. So it was like a lot of fear of this ghost. And uh, she is a very interactive person. Otherwise, when she is with friends, so she is little shy as a person. So she likes to be a good dancer and being appreciated by everyone. Besides, if you look at the general, so she had craving for chocolate, for ice creams, and she liked raw vegetables a lot. And apart from vitiligo, the only other complaint that is she had was dysmenorrhea on her first day, which was better by occupation diversion. So basically here we see a girl who has almost symmetrical patches of vitiligo, which was on our observation. And the other observation that came up was there was a lot of restlessness of her legs. And the main feeling that came up again and again in her case was I feel extremely alone without my friends. Besides in the physical symptom there was aversion, nausea from milk and strong desire for chocolates as I said. And she wanted to travel a lot and she wanted to be in the limelight. She wanted to become a dermatologist when we asked about her uh, ambition because she said that, you know, this is my fantasy so that I can treat people with skin complaints. Now, what was very important for us in her case was like her feelings on the death of her mother. This was almost like repressed emotions. I mean, imagine a 14 year child not expressing much. So she said that I'm attached to my father also, but she stays away from him and she's okay with it. She stays with her cousin sister who was accompanying her in the moment. And there was a lot of fear of ghosts, fear, uh, fond of dancing. And when asked about her choices, 
her cousin said that she is very fussy and extremely particular she is very clear as to what food she wants to eat or what dress she wants to wear and whenever they come from a little conservative family background so the cousin also said the same thing that suppose if we are to tell her that no you cannot wear this dress she feels very restricted she wants to be free she gets very angry if she stops from doing that so when we repertorize with symptoms like nausea milk from grief ailments from cry cannot there was another one strong fear is the cousin said that whenever there is lightning she always comes running to me that is one important fear even if it is in the middle of night she will come and hug her cousin so and there was headache from exposure to sun vitiligo symmetrical complaints chocolate ice cream desire fear ghosts fear alone of being staining yellow of perspiration which was another symptom and delusion imagination alone she is milk product aggravates from all this we got natural muse but because we had the knowledge of sensation and the knowledge of the remedies and the rose from the periodic table to back it up we could easily figure out that it was basically a feeling a case of row 2 i mean a column 2 where you know there are a lot of repressed feelings and whenever there is fear the person comes back running to someone as sir said so which is more the case in magnesium rather than with natrium so row 3 was clear on one hand with her identity her choice her being appreciated her being alone without friends and on the other hand we had coming back to someone when there was a fear or fright so we had given her magnesium because also we have the element of chlorine which as sir said right now it was feeling restricted and wanting to break free from that restriction and this patient who was not responding to any medicine for 4 years did quite well with a few doses she was put on the lm potency the lm doses and she did very well and she was so happy and there was also one change to observe that in the follow up she also gave this symptom like she said that i'm quite better and one thing she also asked me is like if i tell you i'm better will you not change my medicine because she was very happy that her skin texture and color had improved overall and her friends told her that now not only are you getting better but you are also getting more fairer so she was very happy with the improvement and she did not want us to reduce the medication in out of the fear that you know we may reduce the doses and she will be back to her earlier state good so little other feature of magnesia suppose this is a case of a mac cup you get full of dreams and not fresh in the morning and lot of symbolic dream you get in magnesia like dreams of wedding dreams of water dreams of fire these all indicate symbolic dream indicates patient doesn't express the emotion much but in subconscious state lot of dreams from that you can suspect it is a repressed emotion i don't say i miss my mother but in subconscious it is worse than suppression in one corner there is a strong feeling of being repressed very recently i had a case of urticaria which was better by cold application lot of medicine i gave one after another on acute i was unsuccessful and a 46 years gentleman not getting a it job properly earning less suddenly he expresses he one statement he said doctor i feel that whatever is the story is not important long ago i lost my mother when was i was a ch child same feeling comes back to me now i feel totally uncared and unloved with my wife going to office and there is no mother at home and i'm suffering so much like a small child expecting the mother and there is no mother which he didn't tell me at all and after inquiring in detail at very childhood he lost the mother but he never never expressed kept it in his deep seated emotion and his urticaria responded beautifully with some magnesia salt i think i gave max salf because of the modalities and other features but this repressed emotion is so important also another very very strong feature of magnesia is they feel if i exert my choices 
if i say which food to eat where to go which dress to wear because i lost my mother or father early age i am staying with my auntie and relatives and if i express my choices they will throw me out i will be abandoned i will feel left out all alone so if i express my choice i will be all alone this is a very strong feature of magnesia in the group also whatever my friends say i eat they say i have a choice i feel like having dosa but because my friend wants pav bhaji i have to eat pav bhaji i ask why not dosa then they will leave me i will feel very alone i will be left out all alone so if you get the feature if i express my choice i will be left out all alone this is typical magnesia so orphanage feeling is very strong in magnesia next is alumina the main feeling of alumina is confusion of identity do i depend on a mother like structure totally or do i depend on myself this is the ambiguity of alumina totally confused shall i be homeopath on my own or shall i depend on the institute or my guide or my teacher shall i do it on my own shall i depend this is the ambiguity of alumina with cannot see the sight of the blood very very destructive it can be small child eating muds strong problem from constipation or diarrhea from the tin food or aluminium food soft stool requires lot of straining these are all features of alumina with lot of confusion about choices if it is confusion about security next line will come i will come to it but if there is a lot of confusion about identity choice love affection other features it is alumina if it is confusion about separation do i need to hold mother strongly or i have to descend down i have to be on my own if that is the ambiguity then it is boron but if it is something to do with choices and shall i do it on my own or shall i depend then it is alumina next is silica first rubric is fear of examination strong characteristics is perspiration of palms and soles palms and soles becomes cold aggravation from draft first time in silica child develops a fixed rigid idea i need to be very good i need to be someone special then only people will love me care me affect affection i will get if i am very very studious then only my parents will love me at any cost i need to stand fast this is silica tremendous parental pressure and strong need to excel then only they will get love and affection very much concerned about their image next is phosphorus here child expresses what to have the choice what not to very clear cut choice and here a feeling comes my parents doesn't understand me my friends understand me better i can make friendship very easily so the main rubric is estranged from the family that is phosphorus but phosphorus child gets lot of love affection from the friends from outside and it has its own choice so to differentiate phosphorus from silica silica is concerned about fixed image like i will say i want to be a scientist people should know me as scientist this is silica phosphorus i love touch i love hugging i love affectionate i love affection i love communication i can make friends easily but i feel a kind of unloved at home my parents doesn't understand my friends and outside people understand me better this is phosphorus with fear of thunderstorm strong desire for ice cream etc etc so if we have got quite a few remedy desire ice cream including calcarea including phosphorus when to give phosphorus this is column row 3 will have issues of love care affection choice own choice those are very strong will definitely give phosphorus ego is developing as we go from left to right natrum has hardly any ego silica has fixed identity fixed ego whereas phosphorus 
is somewhat opposite own choices he develops what parents are giving phosphorus will oppose exactly opposite choice and sulfur it is foolish ego i know more than you i know everything i had a very good case of cancer where he said einstein's 12 theory einstein's theory only 12% in the world understood i was the 13th one who read lot of books and i have so many books in bombay no one has so many books and i i understood einstein's theory of relativity this is the ego of sulfur foolish talk i know better than you this kind of talk and elements from scorn at one time you were treated like a dirt family members abandoned you people didn't recognize you because you were nowhere you were not earning money not educated and now i want to be someone i can achieve someone so that you recognize me you appreciate me sulfur has very strong theme of appreciation on one side and elements from scorn on the other side you feel you are just scorned you are not recognized you are thrown out people are not appreciating you at all and you want to achieve something so that people will give you value this is the main feeling of sulfur with lot of skin symptoms same feeling all sulfur selenium tellurium all has the same kind of feeling that lot of ego lot of achievements etc etc and much concerned about the appearance but in row 3 and row 4 there are little difference as we go from row column 1 to column 18 in row 3 structure develops from left to right same is applicable in row 2 left to right 